Hi everyone, welcome back. In this section of the lectures, we will take a look into timely form handling. Well, let's take a look into the important timely attributes that we can use while handling the forms. Well, here we have th colon action, th colon object, th colon field. So these are the three important timely attributes that we use while handling the forms. The th colon action attribute is used to define the action URL for form. This attribute replaces the HTML action attribute of the form. Well, when we design the plain HTML form, then we use a action attribute of the form, right? Well, when timely engine will process the th colon action attribute, it will replace this attribute with the HTML action attribute of the form. Next, we have th colon object attribute. This attribute is used to bind the fields of the form to the model object. For example, consider we have a code snippet over here. So basically, this is the form, and within this form, we have used timely attributes such as th colon object, th colon action, and th colon field. The th colon action attribute here we are using to define the action URL for this form. And timely engine will process the th colon action attribute and it will replace us with HTML action attribute of the form. Next, we have th colon object attribute. So, this attribute is used to point to the model class object. And if you can see here, this is the model class object that is user form and it has fields like name, email, password, gender, address, merit, and probation. Okay, so th colon object attribute is used to point to this model class object. And this model class object is used to store the form data. Well, whenever user fill up this form and submit this form, then this form data will be stored in this user form model object. Okay, and this th colon object attribute is used to point to this model class object. Okay, next we have th colon field attribute. This attribute is used to point to the field name of the model object. For example, here we are using th colon field attribute to point to the model class object attribute that is name well if you can notice here user form is a model class and it has attributes like name email password gender address merit profession and here we are using th colon field attribute to point to the model class object attributes okay so whenever user enter the data in this input text field then that data will be stored in this model class attribute that is name so similarly you can able to see here we are using th colon field attribute to point to the email field of this model class object and whenever user enter the email in this input text field then that email value will be stored in this email model class attribute similarly you can able to see we are using th colon field attribute to point to the password field of this model class object and here you can see we are using th colon field attribute to point to the profession field of model class object and here again we are using th colon field attribute to point to the address attribute of model class object well basically we use th colon field timely attribute to point to the field name of the model class object and we use this field name to bind the input form data all right so these are the three important timely attributes that we use while handling the forms in a timely template in next lecture we will create a handler method to handle user registration request and in upcoming lectures we will design the user registration form and we will see the example for input text field and password text field and selection box text field text area and radio box okay we will see how to get a data by using all these form controls all right great i will see you in the next lecture